This video is a guide to creatine. It goes over everything you need to know about how to take it, what is it, what does it do. So let's begin. What is creatine? The body already produces it. It produces around one to two grams a day and is also found in red meats such as beef and pork. However, the body does not produce a huge amount and in the foods that you eat, there is not a lot present. Therefore, it's a good idea to supplement with it. Creatine is used for anaerobic exercise, which is high intensity, short duration exercise, such as lifting weights, deadlifting, bench pressing, squats. What does creatine do? Our body produces energy from a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, aka ATP. When we are training, your body uses one of these three phosphates, as tri means three. Consequently, the ATP becomes adenosine diphosphate, di meaning two. This is where creatine is useful. Creatine stored in the muscles is able to replenish ATP or adenosine diphosphate and turn it back into ATP triphosphate, allowing greater energy while exercising, allowing you to squeeze out an extra rep or two during your set. When you are supplementing with creatine, you'll see some weight gain from water weight as creatine pulls more water into the muscle. But this is a good thing as your muscle cells are more hydrated as our muscles are 70% water. Supplementation. When you are buying creatine, make sure you buy creatine monohydrate as it has been shown to be the most beneficial or at least on par with the others. However, it's the cheapest and it's the most researched, so the safest to take. I recommend the creatine from Trained by JP as it's the cheapest one I've found. You can get one kg for 30 pounds, but you can get a 10% discount by using codes like Cuba 10 to get it for around 26, 27 pounds for a kg. This works out at around 14p, 15p per serving, which for the benefits that creatine provides is absolutely ridiculously cheap. I'll leave a link in the description, no affiliates or anything, just that uh, I've brought this and it's been good for me and it's cheap. So how do you actually supplement with creatine? You can take creatine any portion of the day. It's a bit wishy-washy where you should take it, but I don't think it matters too much as long as you're consistent with taking it. Take around three to five grams every day. However, there is some research to show that one gram per 10 kilograms to 15 kilograms of your body weight may be better. This is because if you're bigger, you use more energy when exercising. Therefore, more creatine will be needed. The main thing with creatine is you want to be consistent to see the best results. But if you do miss a day, don't worry, as it won't affect anything in the long term, as the point is to be taking creatine every day. It takes three to four weeks for the muscle to be saturated with creatine, so don't expect an immediate strength boost, as will be gradual. Loading phase. A loading phase is taking a high amount of creatine for the first week when supplementing with creatine for the first time. You can take around 20 grams every single day for the week, as this will shorten the three to four week for your muscles to be fully saturated and turn it into around a week. In the long term, this doesn't matter too much as your muscles are gonna be fully saturated either way, just if you want it to be done quicker, but you will be using more creatine, which will spend a little bit more money, but it's up to you. It's important to mention that you may feel some discomfort in your GI or gastroc intestine from high creatine doses. So be wary of that if you are choosing to do a loading phase. 